Hello, this is tutorial number four. And in this uh, tutorial, we are going to show the difference between array and matrix operation. But before going to that point, just I want to quickly show you that on the command window, you can easily make the calculation operation. This plus three. You can just like calculator type any type of operation and then you get the answer for example if we said one plus two multiplied by three as we know the matlab going to perform the multiplication before as we already know and then add it to one in this case will be seven and uh, yeah so this is the command window so now let's show the difference between the array and the matrix operations there is type of difference because in the matrix operation it follows the linear algebra rules in the matrix operations so let's first define two matrices it's a equal to for example, one, four, six, and let's be equal to one, two, three. We can also assign an array in this way. So now we can see here we have the A and B. So now let's add A to B. So now it performs a very simple array operation. Also it is called, in this case, matrix operation. It's, but if we have another B with a different size let's say b equal one to four and then adding a to b so we will see that the matrix they are not the same size so they should be in the same size to perform this operation so let's again assign b one to three and now let's multiply a by b so you notice here in this case it's going to perform a matrix multiplication that in the matrix multiplication as we know in the matrix operations the number of columns in a must equal the number of rows in b in b we have only one row and they should be three rows so we can again assign b to be three rows instead in instead of one row this way semicolon to semicolon three close and now let's apply the matrix operation so we have the answer is 27 so what if we want to multiply each elements in a with each element in b like a direct multiplication as we did in the summation so in this case this operation called the array operation so it means that a must be followed by dot the multiplication sign then multiply by b in this case it will not work because they should be in the same dimension so let's back to make b the to be one row the same dimension like a so now let's multiply a dot a dot multiply b 
as we see we perform the array operation 